Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel, Trendonomics by Harish. So, Mad Run continues in Nifty Bank Nifty War. Next, so this is update on Nifty Bank Nifty and uh, global markets. The outlook going ahead. This is going to be an interesting video. Watch till end. Let's see. So, Nifty is still continuing the run. Where do we go from here? Uh, so. From the common point of view, if you're watching this channel, we are still in fifth and it's continuing. We are saying, uh, we said in yesterday's video that uh, maybe we can still stretch to uh, 18,300, 400 zone. So we are almost uh, 18,350, but uh, the rally is non stop and it's still going higher. Can we still go higher? Yes. Uh, it's getting now like vertical, like uh, Tata Motors or. Well, Tata stops. Uh, it's just getting uh, verticals with no boundaries. Uh, uh, how high it can go? So uh, from uh, fourteen thousand one hundred out, we are in fifth, uh, and from fifteen thousand five hundred, we are still stretching non-stop. And uh, so now we have this trend channel uh, joining the highs and lows of the rally and probably we might get some resistance of the trend channel uh, near 18,400. But uh, the move is still uh, going, it's still going on. So definitely uh, uh, we still haven't, uh, it, look, it doesn't look like, okay, uh, we are topping out or something uh, because uh, there is no sign as of yet. Yes, there could be uh, like after maybe after a few sessions, we might actually top out. We might get re resistance correction. But as of today, there is no sign. Uh, uh, so uh, we have a long weekend. And uh, definitely people are, are worried. If something happens in global markets, then what do we do next? How, uh, we can still continue to go higher. From price action, it's, uh, there is doesn't look like any, uh, currently doesn't look like any uh, negative uh, structure. Uh, we are still going higher. The only thing is we are going high, higher with the gaps and the body of the candle is uh, very small. So uh, definitely that is a concern because uh, with the gaps, uh, if the candle body gets smaller, that means Maybe the strength is uh, lacking after the gap uh, market unable to go like higher, continue higher for the day and mark a good gain. Uh, so uh, I don't know whether these are going to be like exhaustion gaps or something like that. Uh, there could be, yes, chances are that. But unless and until we break uh, support, I don't think uh, there is any uh, uh, immediate reversal, like uh, I don't know if we will have a very huge gap down or something. As of now, uh, uh, there is no such sign. But yes, if uh, on Monday also, if we continue to uh, uh, continue this pattern of maybe gap up and then a sluggish price action, then after Monday, maybe uh, we might just... Uh, reverse because we are uh, reaching the uh, resistance zone right now so again uh, like i said from this uh, so we are now a uh, little bit changing the count so okay uh, we are saying okay we uh, ended the correction at 17600 and from there maybe this is an impulse one two three we are still in third, maybe three and four, and maybe one more high pending. Uh, after slight fourth wave correction, uh, that's uh, likely. Uh, so, uh, what are the support? So, definitely today's low is uh, important support. Unless that breaks, uh, there won't be any uh, chirp. And uh, again, uh, the support below that is of 18,100 zone uh, yesterday's opening. So unless and until we go below these supports, I don't think there will be any major dent. Yes, um, 
But if we break these supports, 18,100, then definitely there will be a dent uh, because that makes a totally different case. So it uh, on downside, 18,100, 18,050 zone is a major support. And unless we break it, I don't think uh, there will be a major dent. Uh, but a minor correction can come from overbought zone uh, and we have negative divergence also. Uh, so maybe Monday, I don't know, we might just get some correction if we fail to go higher than uh, 18,350, 18,400. After Monday, we may get some 100, 200 points correction uh, to fill the gap near 18,200. Uh, but there are supports now, 18,200, 18,100. And unless we break this support with gaps, something like overnight, uh, some bad news of us, unless we break that support of 18,050, uh, I, I don't know uh, if there is going to be an immediate reversal. Yes, there is going to be, uh, uh, this is not going to end uh, very good. Uh, this vertical move, uh, definitely is not going to end very well because uh, this always this kind of move always ends in a dramatic uh, sharp uh, turmoils so that will come sometime later but enjoy until it's going on uh, enjoy until we are uh, getting gaps gap ups and we are not getting gap downs uh, until we are not are getting a break of swing lows or support. So uh, 18,100 now keep uh, that level in mind, 18,100 to 18,050. The, uh, that's the support zone unless that breaks. Uh, there won't be any major dent. Uh, uh, you should uh, close uh, your lungs only if the uh, 18,100 breaks. Yes, but on higher side, definitely book profits yeah, 18,400, 450 zone because you are going to see a profit booking there because there is a resistance. Bank Nifty, so Bank Nifty finally shot up today. So maybe if the market again goes higher, wants to go higher, the more is going to come from the Bank Nifty, banking index, banking stock. It's breaking after a couple of uh, Months, so maybe it can give some sharp search. Bank Nifty. Uh, so um, any move is going to come uh, in on upside that will be led by Bank Nifty banking stock. And downside we are not talking yet about unless we break eighteen thousand one hundred. Uh, let's look at the global market. So Dow. Uh, is still is it's weak, but uh, we had a doji yesterday, and we are, have some positive yes uh, Dow feature. So uh, Dow is definitely weak, I think. And any uh, weakness or any uh, bad news that will come only from foreign market. So this is a kind of a head and shoulders formation. But yes, we haven't yet broken it, so. Unless we break this trend line, uh, there could be bounces. Yes, there could be bounces. And till that time, maybe we continue a little higher. But now keep these supports in mind, 33,800 zone, 34,000 zone. Uh, if that breaks, then definitely Dow is going to uh, witness selling pressure. And that, again, likely to add selling pressure in Nifty, maybe. Uh, currently, it's not giving any pressure. It's giving only pressure to bull uh, bears. So uh, uh, again, S and P has a head and shoulders formation, uh, and below yesterday's low, maybe there could be some uh, down downside trigger. So any bad trigger, any correction is going to be because of the foreign markets. Uh, the uh, let's look at tax uh, German index. So it is again bouncing and still holding up uh, above the short term moving average, but looks like it has picked up again low 
probably forming an head and shoulders formation in the axle. So, uh, but bounces can continue. Maybe uh, if today's low is held, uh, we might see some some more bounce, and then market goes down after bounce. Uh, so, again, uh, there is no not much of uh, negative. Uh, um, structure right now as of in the DAO or DAX, uh, there could be a bounce, but yes, later on it will be definitely it's going to uh, turn down if that's what I feel. So uh, dollar index, as we said, it's going to go higher uh, because that's a breakout and we see feel it should be going to 98, but uh, uh, in short term, so it is uh, correcting from overbought zone. Uh, so it is retesting this 93 level. So maybe for one or two days, unless uh, until it go uh, gains back the uptrend, uh, it can uh, retest uh, and hover around here. This and maybe till then we might continue higher. But uh, dollar index, if it again resumes up, and then definitely it can go in, uh, bring the pressure. Same with USD INR, which has broken out. So uh, maybe some cool off from all about zone um, towards the support zone of seventy five. So any any bad uh, news that is definitely going to come from. The foreign markets and uh, because there is no pressure or bad news in our market as of now or even on price there is not much of uh, negative formation yet uh, though we might get some suggestions here 18,450 so uh, so that's it uh, meanwhile you can uh, check a free course on elite wave from my uh, Twitter profile, you can follow there or you can check, the, uh, grab the free course from our website also. You can watch my interview with stock tips on how to trade price action and options. Yeah, grab the free Elliott Wave book from our site and uh, maybe uh, the course, free Elliott Wave course from our site, Trendonomics HD. So that's it from today's updates. Uh, Happy Dashera to all of you, and I hope uh, you're doing great. You're trading, yes, bull market continuing. So that's it. Uh, now my advice is manage your position sizes uh, because yes, now you are probably you are making a very good profits, and you want to. Keep those profit with you. Yes, the key is to keep the profit along with you and uh, don't let it go away. Yes, bull market does not continue forever. There will be corrections. Yes, I'm not saying that uh, we'll start crashing or whatever correction. But uh, remember, bull markets don't stay forever. So uh, get some cash uh, and uh, manage your leverages and position size uh let your profit stay with you that's it from today's update this is how it's signing off until we meet again